in 10 years, there are going to be a lot of companies who are going to make electronic parts that could go into their furnitures. Electronic company and the furniture company is going to compete in the same business. Jay, it's a, great, it's a great pleasure to be talking to you. Could you please start by telling us where you started and uh, how you got to where you are now? Me and my friends, there were all the mechanical and the aerospace engineers. We studied a mechanical engineer. I also got the master at the industrial engineering. But now I'm here as a designer. The reason why is that it's also in my, our company name, Umju Game, and we don't think the engineering and the design is the different thing. It's not only about how it's beautiful or useful. It's about how you make the things also about and how, to, how you distribute the things. I think all those processes are the designs. I want to be here to compete each other and see what if I can do. Why did you, what drew you to studying mechanical engineering, aerospace engineering? When I was a kid, I liked the mathematical things, you know, calculations, all those kind of things. I knew I just wanted to understand those kind of projects. It was not about the mathematical. It was about a logical thinking. So I was once a programmer, you know, making the website or the making the program, the games, when I was in a middle school. You were saying that uh, you were fascinated by numbers, but that you felt that in aerospace engineering, you might not necessarily be going into space, but just working for other people, maybe going to space. But then you also mentioned video games. I quit that kind of things when I was 17. When you program the things, it really has to be perfect. We have to try to make that perfect, but you know, the life isn't perfect. It's really hard to doing those kind of things perfect because life isn't like that. This year I'm presenting the IoT furnitures. So I'm trying to show the people how the furniture can be IoT, you know, Internet of Things in this area. So this year is the experiment. And I'm thinking of doing it much more on that project. I think it's because we are engineers. You can, you can look around in this whole Fiera. There's a whole bunch of furniture companies, and you don't find the many companies working on the IoT kind of things, even though it's a huge business in this area. If you put an IoT thing in the furniture, it, it seems funny. It doesn't look good, but there could be the answer. So that's the where we want to go as the designer and also the engineer. Let's go forward 10 years. What will our furniture be doing and how will the Internet of Things be embedded? In 10 years, there are going to be a lot of companies who are going to make electronic parts that could go into their furnitures. Electronic company and the furniture company is going to compete in the same business because they're doing the electronic things. You know, GE or the Samsung going to make the desk. We really need the technicians to hide those kind of technology seamlessly, seamlessly, like iPhone did. Even though there is a computer inside there, it works much more simple than computer. For three years, I was competing as a designer. We are now showing the experimental things about how the IoT or the electricity can go into the furniture. That's my installation this year. It's a system furniture, but shape, all of the shape is mean it came from the imagination of the gravity, how to show the people about gravity. And it has a lot of influ influence in how to make the things and how to shape our pieces. I told you about the IoT era. So here's the technology. You just push these wires in and now you can have a lighting in here so simple and you also have a small boxes here that could go in here it's only the copper wire and a plastic so it's a lighting system 
that has a furniture in there, or it's a furniture system that has light in there. This is our starting point for the IoT era of the furniture. What does feeding the planet mean to you, the theme of Expo 2015? For me, for my business, uh, feeding the planet is about feeding the people the technology in their every single moment in your life. For me, the feeding the planet is not about the food or the energy. It's about the technology and also the beauty of the life. Don't you feel, though, that um, there's a lot of beauty and a deep connection through contemplation, which actually I see as a technology-free moment? But if you, be, if you don't feel it, that that's a technology. What if something else helps you feel that moment much more huge? I don't know what that could be, but what if some people push forward the human being? There's some people push for the human beings, like Steve Jobs said. There's a people pushing ourselves to the future, and there's no one else who can stop them. What does Umjigi mean? It's a South Korean, and it means the movement. The reason why our company names movement is we're curious about how people move when they're using something else. For the human being, each moment in our life is defined by our movement, what we do. Turning on your faucet, cleaning up your things, or drinking your coffee. And we want to make the single movement much more beautiful. And there's another meaning, which is that we want to zip the engineering thing and the design thing together. Now we are entering to another golden era the IoT furniture, and that's the reason why our company name is a movement.